Hello, Planet Poke people. It's me, Dio Gen Z, here with a special TCG pack opening of the Victini box. Oh. So, what is included in this Victini box? Well, we've got uh, five TCG black and white expansion booster packs. We've got a Victini figure which is exclusive to this box and it's even got a nice little stand to sit on and you've got an excellent Zoroark card in the front so enough yapping let's get to the good stuff inside plastic it's really nice not that blister plastic that's ridiculous to get off of a small item like an SD card Okay, so let's see. Should probably open it up from this side. You can find this box on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can click it and uh, see for yourself. Okay, so we've got. Let me see if I can adjust the light here. I got a bendable light now, so you guys can see things better. This is a new pack that I've never seen before, but I suppose I just didn't collect it. And uh, that's the Zoroark card right there. Shiny, shiny. Holographic Zoroark. Pretty badass. For those of you who don't know, I just recently moved to Colorado, so all my uh, card protectors are at home, unfortunately. And is this taped on the side? Oh no, I'm bending Zoroark. Now I'm throwing him on the ground. Here's a better look at uh, focus Zoroark up close. Very awesome. I'm gonna have to find a new card store to get some card holders. So this is the Victini. Woo, victory for Victini. And then somehow he just kind of sits on there. Oh, with this. He will sit on this little pedestal, sort of like that, yeah. And then there's a little slot for his back, so he can fly, firefly, and okay, cool. Exclusive black and white Victini figure in the background. Thing's tiny. Gives you perspective. So we've got a bunch of boosters here. Five to be exact. Let's start off with this one. I've never opened this kind of pack before, so we might as well see what is inside. I would laugh if we ended up getting another holographic Zoroark, but that's unlikely of happening. The only reason I might think that would is because. I got a Caldeo in a Caldeo pack on a previous opening. So one, two, three, to the front. And we've got do, 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 Pokemon Communication. Maractus. Bouffalant. That's awesome. I like him better than Tauros, personally. He's got more character, I think. Deerling. A Joltic. Let me see. There we go. The light's a little better there. Still adjusting new things as I'm here. Solosis, so comment below on what could be improved. Woobat. Timber. A foily Mancino. Oh! And a Zeko Rom hologram. Or holographic, rather. You know, same difference. That's amazing. This is great because I've actually previously opened a Reshiram holographic. That is fantastic. Put that in the background there. First pack, total win. So now I definitely have to go find a new card store to protect these beauties. So let's stay in the mood of legendaries by opening the Zekorom pack here. Man, that is awesome. I don't think I've had a legendary set of holographics in quite some time. Maybe ever. 
There's the art too, if you guys didn't catch that before. Always I like to preserve the pristine condition of the packaging. Because it's shiny too. I'm like a squirrel. Servine. Energy switch. Watch hog. Crazy thing. I'm watching you. Clink. Interesting thing about Colorado. Woobat. That I did not know about before. A little pup. Is that it's a desert in a in a big way. To pig. And they actually have prairie dogs like Watch Hog if you go far enough out of town. Venipede. Ooh. A foily Rio Nicholas. If I'm not mistaken, I believe I opened up a holographic Rio Nicholas before, but not of this kind, not of this uh, art. And a Maractus. How is this Maractus rare? I don't understand how that happens, but not holographic. I like the Rio Nicholas foil card much better. Do, 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 do. Psychic power. So let's go to Reshiram's path. What could be inside? I want. Yeah, but those parrot dogs are really funny. They caught me off guard because I saw these like whole fields worth of little things chirping as I drove by on my bike, rode by on my bike. And I'm like, is that what I think it is? And then when I got closer, they ran to their uh, little prairie dog dens, Professor Juniper. And I was like, yes, this is a desert. Simi Sage. If only I had some Pokeballs, could have caught those pat rats and evolved them into the crazy cocaine ridden watch hog Audino. Purloin. I don't know about this one. I, I it just doesn't catch on with me. I like Glammeow better. Switch to Pat Rat. Perfect timing, Pat Rat. We were just speaking of you. Joltic Potion. Heals 30 damage. A foily energy retrieval. Woohoo! And a different version of a holographic cling clang. I do believe if you uh, look in the archives of Planet Pokes TCG openings, I did open a cling clang holographic, as I said, of a different type. So that's cool. That's a more 3D rendition. The one I opened up before was picture of him in Charge Stone Cave, and then we've got two Zeb Strika boosters left. You guys probably really love this video on account of usually I only do one pack per vid, but since it's all in one box, I figured you all would yell at me if I cut it up into separate videos. And there's no reason to cut it up. I mean, it's cool to see what luck with holographics we get in one set of poles. Oh, almost forgot. One, two, three, and to the front. There we go. First up, a Bosculin. Basking in the sun. HD glory. Girder. I think you're a little far off from the construction site, pal. Looks like you're in a canyon. Full heel. Another purloin. Don't like it. Snivy. Potion. I really wonder how I'm going to feel about this 6th gen Patrat, because I haven't even come to terms with all the 5th gen yet that they're technically Pokemon. A Darumaka, a Foil Scraggy, it's actually kind of hard to see in this light, but you get a sense of the gleam. And another Dud Maractus. I seriously don't understand what's so rare about this card, other than the fact that the developers of the cards put a star on the bottom of it. Okay, Pokemon Company, we'll go with that, but I don't see anything rare about Maractus. I've gotten plenty of Maractus pulls before. I'll have to compare it to my past Maractus cards and see if it's actually that much better. It's got 90 health. I mean, it's it's a decent uh, basic Pokemon to play if you're uh, doing the card game. But these days, I do the card game more online because... Uh, I can't really find anybody to play the tangible cards with in real life. So Duat, looking like he's going to do a awesome samurai samurai strike with his shells. 
shell blade. Crock a rock. Walking down the road of dirt. Oh, that's cool. We actually uh, managed to pull all of the uh, starters of the fifth gen, now Pig Knight, in their second form. So we got Duat, Pig Knight, and Servine earlier on. Electric Energy. Oh, a Zarua, which works out perfectly. Where did I put that Zoroark? Oh, here it is. Which works out perfectly for the Zoroark that came with this box set. Very beautiful holographic. Sorry I didn't put that in the lens earlier. But now we can actually get to him. Deerling. My dear Deerling. Lillipop. Venipede. Foily Timber. And a not so holographic Alamomola. So, overall, pretty awesome box set. Comes with the Victini figure which is adorable, and yes, I do think we new, now have a new actor on Life in the Box. A clean clang of a different art style than I got before. Foily Rio Nicholas, I just personally like Rio Nicholas a lot. It's one of my favorites of the fifth gen, and my favorite holographic because it was a pull, not unlike, uh, you know, unlike the Zoroark, which we knew was already there. The Zekorom, to complete my Reshiram Zekorom holographic collection, from black and white. So I believe I pulled now the best two uh, holographic legends from the black and white series. But stay tuned to Planet Poke. Be sure to subscribe because in the future we've got this to go through. <gasps> you already see shiny. It's a giant EX card. So make sure you subscribe and you will be updated immediately when I open this box. And uh, check out my channel, youtube.com backslash DOGENZ for more Pokemon goodness. I'm doing an Effort Value training series on there called Effort Value Expertise. You can learn the ins and outs of the metagame for the digital version of Pokemon if you're not so much into the cards. But if you're watching this, I would assume you are. So I will see you in the future. Awesome, Zekorom. Fuzzy. Awesome, fuzzy, awesome, fuzzy. Okay, we're done.